Okay, I've gone ahead and put together a little presentation sheet. Um, pretty self-explanatory. I think this is a nice section. And I've added one feature, um, which is a control over the facade depth. And the idea is that I can control the distance between the back plane and the front um, node plane uh, by changing this dimension. And I'll show you how it's done in a second um, in the actual um, drawing. But let's just change it and then see if that updates for us. Let's do something. It's six feet now. Let's go to 16. Let's make it something really, well, maybe already I've drawn it. So let's give that a second. And that's kicking out a few warnings, but um, it might not even be, I don't even see a warning. But now you can see the facade. The facade has moved out um, deeper, and everything is adaptively changed. And I think this is the real power of the modeling, the ability to be flexible in um, creating parameters and then being able to adjust them without having to redraw elements. And so let's go and take a look now at how we accomplish that idea of changing the facade depth. So if I go out to that shape nodes file, which is the, give it a second to come up on the screen here. There we go. And if we look at this, oh, let's see if I put it in a south elevation, oops, excuse me, east. All right, so what we got is a connection now between, and it's a little bit hard to see in that view. Let's see if I can find a view. We have a connection between that node. I've linked the node. I've run a dimension to, the, um, to that form and then back to the back plane and given that a parameter, an instance parameter, we create. So it's a, um, if we actually look at the parameter itself. Um, The parameter is the facade depth. It's a dimension parameter. Let's see if I can edit it. Just to show you what it is, it's a family parameter, facade depth. It's an instant repent parameter. And it's just important to make sure that that group is under dimensions. And so now if we change this dimension, Well, I'll do something, I'll exaggerate it. I'll go 20 feet. Now that whole front plane moves out. And we could import that in and it would come in with the default. Well, if we didn't change this value, or if we did, then we didn't overwrite it by changing all the parameters, um, it would stay at the depth that it is in the original drawing. Um, it sounded a little confusing the way I said it. So it's going to be something that you can experiment with to understand what's going on. Um, so I'm looking for some kind of a drawing like this for your submittal.